focused. Is, is this the toughest week of the season as a coach? Well, can I just make a statement first? Uh, you know, first of all, we've been partnered with the Monday morning quarterback for a long time here in Birmingham um, relative to Children's Hospital and always look forward to coming back to this. And uh, this is a great event for the community and it's a great event for children and we're glad to be a part of it. Now, for your question, uh, I don't know that it's important that players stay focused and locked in on the bye week. I think they need to stay focused and locked in on the things that they need to do to improve. Uh, we want to clearly define the things that we need to do better on offense, defense, and special teams, uh, and what players themselves need to do individually to improve. Uh, and that should be the focus this week. Uh, I think, you know, obviously, you know, our season will be defined by how we finish, you know, the season. Uh, so, uh, and I think the thing that's going to affect that the most is how do the players improve. Yeah, so, we saw Josh Jenkins in the locker room with the trainer. He just got an ankle, and he probably will be in the boot for a few days, and, but he should be okay. How do you divide the week up between game planning and working on fundamentals? Game planning, uh, yes, but um, look, guys. We, we spend time on the rest of the season this week, all right? So uh, I know the LSU game is a big game. It always is. Uh, and we certainly have a tremendous amount of respect for the way they're playing now. Uh, they've done a great job and uh, they played very well the last few games. But, you know, we're not going to start our focus on them today uh, or tomorrow. Uh, we'll, you know, players seem to do well when they're in the rhythm for the routine of how they get ready for a game, and uh, we don't usually change that relative to having a bye week. We saw uh, Josh and Bo using that kind of pistol formation. What do you like about that formation? Where do you do that? Well, I think when you're in the pistol, um, a lot of people, when you're in the gun, sort of set the front on their stunts relative to where the back is. Uh, I think when you're in pistol formation uh, and the back is behind the quarterback, it's not possible to do. So the defense kind of declares itself, and uh, then we can try to get ourselves in the best plays um, because you have you can run equally in each direction. What's the latest on Deshaun? You expect him to be back in practice this week? Uh, Deshaun will be working out all week. Uh, we do expect him to be able to practice and uh, see how it goes to see if he's ready to play in the next game. When you're working on fundamentals, what are the areas that you specifically want to work on the most this week? Well, I think we define that for every position. I don't think we have a position or a player who does not have something that they need to focus on. Uh, I don't think there's, I think there's specific things that we want to focus on on offense and defense relative to uh, what our quality control is to this point and what our efficiency has been, uh, as well as uh, same scenario on defense. You know, what has our efficiency been in certain situations and how can we do things better? So, uh, same thing on special teams. So, that's exactly how we uh, approach it. Is this is, uh, how we that's your plan with Jalen? You know, just kind of developing him more. You had one of the bigger passing games all that all season this last week. Well, we'll continue to try to improve our passing game, our third down efficiency, uh, our play action, drop back passes, as well as some of the run pass options that we have. Um, so, you know, I think all those areas um, could stand a little cleaning up, uh, and we'll certainly want to try to do that, you know, this week. A couple more. Did you happen to see uh, Eddie Jackson yesterday, and if so, what was your reaction given everything you were doing? Well, I, I didn't really see him, but I was happy to see. I saw it on, you know, the ticker at the bottom that he had two 75-yard touchdowns, one fumble, one interception. And, that's the kind of plays that he always seems to make, and I was really, really happy for him. But I guess we had quite a few guys, Jose and some other guys, and Dante played well, I guess. And um, heard a lot of positive things about a lot of our players in the NFL yesterday. The get time for one more. That for the program, how important is that in continuing to, to bring players in when you see them have success at another higher level? Well, I, I think the fact that um, Look, we, we want to help our players develop as people. We want to help them develop as students. We want to help them develop careers, you know, as football players as well as a career off the field. So they're all important. Um, and for us to have the graduation rate that we have, which is one of the highest in the country, is something that's really important to us, just as important as 
the fact that we have the most guys playing in the NFL, and when those guys do well, uh, I think that's something that a lot of young people want to have a chance to aspire to. I think it's all a benefit. Thank you. Okay.